Hello everyone, my name is Rakesh Suryanji and today we are going to discuss some of the key features of the Terraform language or the HashiCorp language. Before I begin, I would like to start asking some questions just to set the context. Do you know you can set the iterator on the object type property in HashiCorp language? Do you know you can filter your collection type of object using the for and for each loop for example let's say i have the object array or the let's say simple array and i, I want to apply some filtration on that uh, array i can simply use the filtration method in the for using the for and for each for loop basically not for it for loop pardon me so all those things make your logic very dynamic and robust to accept any kind of input. And your program is magically wasp and generic if you do so. So we are going to learn all those tricks and techniques to use to build your skills in the Terraform more robust and more generic. I will recommend you to be there in the video till then so that we can discuss and learn all these features. Let's begin. To start with it, I have defined a complex type of object in my variable section. As you can see, I have the networks variable defined and it has got the default value as an object type. Here I'm saying this is the name of my network so i'll say let's say dev vnet this is the name of my vnet and then it has got a couple of properties for example it has got the address space obviously a vnet requires an address space and then it has got the subnet section which is again a complex type property because my vnet can have multiple subnets so as of now i just you can see that i would find only single subnet but i also have the section to use the multiple subnet which I have commented out for now we'll, we'll uncomment on I'll comment this section later on in the video just to understand this is just a complex object now let's say I would like to create a virtual network with this particular object using the, the you know this object as an input type so first of all I would like to apply or the trade this object using the for each loop I would like to read the key and the value of this particular object so you can see that uh, this object has has got two section any object has got two section basically in terraform a key section and the value section so whatever comes at the left side is your key and the right section is your uh, the things which comes after equal sign is your value section. So in this section, I have uh, dev in it is is my key and the value of that particular dev in it is this, which is as this is my value. Similar to that, if I see address space is the key and the value of the address space is simply a value. Subnet is key and then we have got the subnet value, right? So let's let's see how do you iterate this particular you know object using the for loop so for the simple for loop statement what you can do here is let's say you say well and i'll say where dot network and then you need to use the colon just as in syntax and then if i do so read and here what i'm doing is i'm iterating the value of the network section and then basically it will write into the terraform output variable for now yeah i'm not using any provider for now this is just a demonstration of the for and for each loop so we don't need any provider so now if i if you see I, when i apply run the apply command i have got the entire value section so as as i've discussed uh, this is my key and this entire section is the value right value of that particular key so you you can see uh, when i print that the entire value section has got displayed here 
Yeah. Now let's say you might ask that. Okay, what about if I I want to you know uh, get the key section instead of value section? So what I do here. So to get uh, the to, to read the key section instead of the value section, you can define another another attribute here in the network section, and then run the section. You'll you'll see that you have got the uh, the key of that particularly. And just to let you know, this is not a keyword. You can write, a, you can choose any name. Just for this demonstration, I've given the name as a key and value. You can give any name such as data, entry, or one to the ABC or anything like that. It's just iterator basically. Yeah. So this is how the simplest way you can iterate. I am just iterating the network object. In this section, I'm reading the key and I've also read the value and it putting the output into the array and the array will be assigned to this particular local variable, which I'm printing it here. Looks fairly easy and simple. Let's go and uh, do a bit more complex things than this. Now, what we are going to do here is we are going to use the nested for loop. Yep, nested for loop. Let's do that how, let's see how do we do that. So simply what I'm going to do here is, I will simply go ahead and write another for loop. For this time, I'll say, okay, I need to write, I need to read the subnet, snet in, let's say value dot subnets, because if you see that the value section has got this particular key and so I'm, I'm just reading these keys and the value of those keys. So now if I iterate through this, you can use the snet and print this snet for now. Yeah. So if I go back and read it, simply you can, you should be able to do, get the value. Just a moment. I'm missing the call in here. Just now let me rerun again. And now you can see that I have got the value of my Snet. And again, if now if I want to get the value of let's say Snet key, Snet key, so I can get the Snet key value as well, which is the name of my Snet subnet, which is sub. Uh, so this time it should be me the value s net key which is let's say oops sorry the value as in the name of the subnet sorry s net yeah the name of the subnet i got it so this is how you can use the for and for each loop as well now let's consider that you would like to get the value as in uh, you you would like to build the uh, object out of this particular object using the for each loop. So how do you do that? So say I'm going to use merge. So here in this section, what we are saying is pnet name equals to the name of the vnet, which is this key here and here as well so what we are saying is how the result of this part particular for each loop for loop would be the collection or the object type which we are building the object type should say okay vnet address space of the vnet or i would say let's say vnet address space and then in it the space and then the, the subnet properties so I'm, I'm basically building the flat you know array structure based on the the structure which is defined here basically okay so now you can see that i have got the address space and the which is this subnet address space and then i have got the uh, the subnet property which is enable net gateway true or false and then vnet name uh, which is the name of this particular vnet on which this subnet is going to be defined and then this is the name of the subnet uh, the the address space of the vnet basically 
okay and let's say i can do one more thing here i can say subnet name subnet name so i can say the uh, the key here which is the snet key or uh, snet key so using that i should be able to build the entire key so let's say the, this is what I've got the result now subnet name, vnet name, vnet address space, subnet address space, and all those things. This is pretty cool, right? Uh, to build my, now, even though I've got the output in different format, uh, using the nested for loop, I've got the output in totally different format now, which I can use to, 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 to provision my resources, right? So, this is how the power of your, your basically, you know. Uh, for loop. we apply the filtration on the for loop so I have the data available with me here you can see that I just uncommented the rest of the section of my subnet so now I have got uh, data web and the gateway subnet and if you look at carefully in my data in the web subnet I have enable net gateway property is equal to false so let's say if i want to filter the subnet uh, which is having the property as an enable web gateway is false uh, i just want to get all the object only with that particular subnet key so what i can do here is i can apply this property using the for loop and then i can say okay if this property is true or false Let's say false for example because my these subnet are uh, three out of four subnets are having value true and one of them is having false so let's see if it is returning this value this result so you can see that i have got now the result as in false uh, the 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 collection which has the value false so only subnet which has the enable net gateway as a false value is basically returned so now if i, I return it back to true then I should have the remaining three subnet as a result, which is which I'm getting it right now. If I scroll it up. So this is how you can apply the filtration on your subnet. Now let's say if you want to have the subnet or the data uh, as a key value pair, let's say from from a collection, if you want to have uh, let's say if you want to have the object type out of the collection so let's say I have the collection object let's look at how do you create the object type using the for loop so far we have created the array using the for loop so we got the object type as an input and as a result of using the for loop we have created the array as you can see now i would like to create object as a result from one object as an input right using the for loop so how do i do that for example let's say instead of creating the array as you can see in this result i'm getting an array as an outcome this is an array and this is the the different uh, data inside the array right now I would like to have the another array as a result. Now to do that, you just remove the array sign from here and use this as is. Let's see I'm getting the result. I'm expecting the outcome to fail because it's complaining about the key expression because when you create the array or the object type from using the for loop, it it accept is it expect the key and the value both because your object is nothing just the combination of key and value pair so a value we have already defined which is the smart object but we haven't defined the key and that's where it is complaining about so now let me define the key here to define the key you just provide the name of the key and then equal sign and then greater than sign this is the syntax you you will require to follow now hopefully it should work fine and I'm, i should get the outcome 
as you can see that now I got the key value where as an object and now you can see that this is my key which is the name of my subnet and the value of the subnet again the name of the subnet as in key and the value so now we have seen that you can create the object using the for loop as well so just to revise we have look at how to use the for loop on the collection on the complex type of object uh, or the input and we have also seen how to use the nested for loop uh, how to iterate it uh, using the nested for loop uh, we have also seen how do you create the uh, simple collection object using the for loop uh, and we also applied the filtration using the if condition onto the collection data which you are generating using the for loop. I hope this was helpful and you, it would be easier and useful to use it in your logic. This is going to be a really really you know interesting if you apply such logic in your input data or the outcome data to, to build you know to your own logic using the Hershikov language so watch if you like the video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel thanks a lot